For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Outdoors Outdoors with me, Mike. Telling you guys a bit of a, a review video on a brand new product from Quest. So this here is the Quest Screen Shield. So the Quest Screen Shield basically is designed to be a windbreak that you can sort of use on its own, uh, or in, in fact attach it to any of their kind of uh, Screenhouse Pro models, so either the four or the six, as you can see here. So suddenly you've got something that's a lot more versatile. It can be used as its own entity for just camping or caravanning, um, but you can also then use it in the garden or for events for you know kids, I don't know sports days or you know footballing events or any sort of event really that's outside and you want a bit more shelter or creating that kind of enclosure around um, for everything that's safe as we go. The thing that makes this issue completely unique is obviously not only is that you've got this quick system, so it's their, uh, their sort of fast hub design where it can be pitched very easily, as you can see from our own At Wars Pitching and Packing video. So we did a little video on it about pitching up and talking about it and going through how it's done myself on my own, so it's nice and easy to do. But the fact it's the height. You know, I'd define you to find any windbreak that is this tall, gives you this much coverage, um, and is still, you know, as strong. So it's, each panel is 180 by 180. Um, you get the three are all interconnected as one unit. So you buy the screen sort of shield as a free piece, but then you can also add additional panels onto it. So you can buy a separate panel separately, which comes with obviously, as you see, one panel there, slips onto the other. You get another upright pole and then another um, sort of steel bracing as well. And you can make it as big or little as you want it to be. In theory, if you wanted to, you could even put two of these together. So if you wanted to like completely enclose, you could do that, couldn't you? If you want to almost completely enclose round, you could almost create that whole enclosure at the front of it. So if you've got something like this attached to the van, then again, it just gives that more different styling. Admittedly, it would make it like an absolute, well, a dog pen, but that's great for the kids or even the dogs in many ways. It uses their sort of 100, uh, 210 denier fabric, same as you find with the pro material. You've got these beautiful windows, which again matches the pro style with the windows in there. The quick hub system is really brilliant. No poles to feed through, just literally pop, 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 peg it out. And because it's almost pre-shaped, it means that you can, you don't have to have any internal guide points. You know, it, it keeps it nice and strong. Obviously the wind's coming that way, it's not a problem because you've got bracing that side, so it works really well. It means that you actually have your furniture in here and you've got a, a more of a, like I said, a bit of a base. Comes pre-packed like you see here. So you've got it in a, a same sort of size bag. Uh, it's about 120, so not as long as the actual screen house itself. Um, but still quite, you know, sort of narrow in many ways. So your foot glass poles is running here. You've got steel uprights going in the corners. So if you want to use this without the connection piece, so you didn't want to zip it on to the actual shelter itself, those uprights will keep it like you so. So it'd be the same, almost that again, you see. Um, again, you've got a really nice, strong sort of aluminium pole, which you can, you've got a, a clamp here so you can spread it. So you can also chop and change it and kind of how much you're kind of getting it. And the joys that means is that that's what helps to give you that structure on the inside. You haven't got to worry about it. We'll bring the camera up now a little bit of a look around to the outside of it to kind of get a bit more of an idea about it. So as you kind of come around, you can see creates that little enclosure. And because these panels are only sort of independent, you can pretty much pick and choose what angle they go at. So if you wanted it dead straight, you could also do that. It wouldn't be a problem. Alternatively, I think this works better when you've got this kind of little enclosure around it. And again, you see you've got pegging points out for every single point. So it's just nicely secured. And then you've got a complete seamless attachment onto the main part of the zip there. But then you've got sort of the windows for sort of a bit of vision out, so it's not completely too big. Um, but from a low level point of view, you know, you've got that sort of protection, especially with sort of furniture. Most people, if you're sitting down on it, it's going to work quite smart. I mean, you're familiar with the hub system, you've got a little Velcro type. So it's not, I said, there's not really, the main structure doesn't need any poles to feed. It's just the, the vertical ones and such the guide poles that you would actually have to use. But like I said, it just creates a little bit more of a, a bit more internal space. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it is almost like a bigger version of, you know, you can almost see if you like this sort of concept of this, um, and you like the sort of the pop up thing, you have a look at Outdoor Revolutions Pronto, same kind of idea, but on a smaller scale. So, you do like a mini Pronto, and this obviously is the much bigger version um, in, in sort of the grain schemes. So you almost got like a, uh, a small, a medium, and then your extra large. 
Um, and there's no reason you couldn't, you know, connect this onto other things if you wanted to as well, belonging the zips all looking sort of fine and dandy. But you've also got some wearing storm straps that are also included. Um, so again, that'll brace off the problem as you pretty much see from the model here as well. So same kind of concept, but I just like the size of it. I think the, the built in, when you have an extra panel and panel and panel, I think it works really, really well. Um, it's something different, that's for sure. And you definitely stand out on the campsite as, uh, you know, the family who've got the ball pen with them. Um, but yeah, good quality, quite well designed as well. And yeah, it's, it's different. I like it. It's different. It's again, if you want more information about it, sort of uh, the pack weight and the overall pack size as well, um, you can check the link below. It'll take you directly through to our website. We've got all the information along with the pitching videos also there uh, and all the related products to it. Um, so things like the shouters and that sort of thing as well. So you can have a look at that and see what kind of bundle deal that you can look, work yourself out. But yeah, in essence, that's kind of our little uh, video review on the, uh, the Quest screen shield. Um, and then okay, you buy the extra panels as and when needed fit. But thank you again for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.